Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay Ruger, and welcome back to another episode of... reacting to shit that I probably shouldn't be watching for my mental health. Alright you guys, so we're going to be reacting to people reacting to my documentary about me and my spouse. You know what it is. You've seen it on this channel a thousand fucking times. Yes, I am milking this for everything it's worth. Uh, so the first person we're reacting to, his name is... Jermaine... Botzio? Bozzi I don't know how to say that. Uh, it was uploaded on August the 2nd, so it's been like two weeks or so. It has a staggering 156 views. Uh, he is a black conservative commentator. Um, I didn't watch the entire live stream, only the part that was important. Me, obviously. Um, but, you know, he talked a little bit about how there's liberals attacking him in his comment section. I don't see anyone in his comment section, but basically what he did is he played like a majority of the video and then just like talked about it for a little bit. So we're going to be reacting to his commentary on it. So that's going to be the first one is reacting to commentary about it. So let's just dive in. OMG, right? He identifies as asexual. He doesn't know what he wants. Um, I'm asexual. I know exactly what I want. Nothing. That's pretty self-explanatory. I feel like that was made very clear in the video that as an asexual, um, I don't really have a, a big interest in sex. I know what I want. It's I don't want any of it. Ladies and gentlemen, and I'm telling you, these folks are confused. Absolutely confused. Now, I want to go ahead and show you guys this picture here. I know liberals are watching me. I, I, you know, I've been getting a lot more liberals watching nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. They're watching and they and they write me and they're angry. There's no one in the comment section. <laughs> it's just not there. There's no one. Let me go ahead and uh, piss them off some more, ladies and gentlemen. Is this normal? I'm dressed as Aladdin. I don't see what the big deal is. Uh, this is actually for um, like a children's event where I dress up like Aladdin. Uh, that was in 2017. Um, I don't see what the big deal is with dressing up like Aladdin. I want to know. One for yes, two for no. Is this normal? Just want to know. Because he says he doesn't know what he is. That's not true. I never say that. That never happens. That's not something that's said in the video. I know exactly what I am. I applied... Very, two, two very specific labels. I identify as asexual and a gender. Oh, look at my doggy making your way into my studio. You know you're not supposed to be here. Um, I feel like I have made it very clear what I identify as. I know exactly who I am. Um, I'm not confused. I have very specific labels. He doesn't want to uh, be labeled a male or a female. He doesn't even want to uh, identify with no sexual parts. Well, that's not entirely true. Um, I mean, like, I don't identify as male or female. That's true. I identify as agender. But, um, I obviously do have genitalia. I have a penis. I'm very aware of that. Um, and I've never pretended that I don't. And I've never made any, um, uh, any allude- I've never alluded to the effect that I didn't have a penis. And I've never made- uh, alluded to the idea that I would ever remove my penis. So, I don't know where you're getting this from. He wants to be a androgynous being. True, androgynous, very. Just like liberals want. Look at him. And ladies and gentlemen, this man spent over a thousand dollars on makeup last year. That's what he says. Him and his wife don't have sex. That's actually not talked about uh, in the in the video, so I don't. You can infer that if you want. But whether or not we have sex, or how often we have sex, or if we do or do not have sex, is actually not talked about in the video. It's completely not discussed. So, you're, you're, 
inferring something from the fact that I'm asexual, but you're there's we it's never been talked about publicly, so you can continue to infer things if you want, but that doesn't make them true. She says she is disinterested in sex. He doesn't care about it. <laughs> but yet they're husband and wife. People can like each other. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think? Is Jermaine off his rocker by saying that this guy does not love himself? Oh, I love myself very much. If you ever, if you bother to do any research on me whatsoever, you'll know that I very much love myself. Uh, I have an amazing self-esteem, and uh, I talk about myself all the time. I think I'm pretty great. I believe that these folks need help, ladies and gentlemen. You can deposit uh, all the money you want into my PayPal. Uh, you know, I, I have a Patreon. If you want to help me, you can give me all your money. Uh, not that you're getting anything off this video because there's no AdSense on it because you're not monetized and I feel like you'd probably be demonetized very quickly if you were but you're not so it doesn't even matter. And if you probably search in his background you would probably find some sort of trauma. What, what is it with Christian conservatives saying that like anyone who isn't a Christian conservative has experienced some sort of trauma? Like everyone, they're, they're always like that. If you ever watch The Fallen State uh, there's a pastor there. Every time there's an LGBT person on there, it's always, what trauma have you been through? What kind of trauma? Trauma, 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 trauma. There's no, no, LGBT people don't exist because of trauma, okay? You're, I mean, like, you, you can infer things all you want, and you can assume things, but that doesn't make them true. Um, and, and there's no context clues provided to say that I had any trauma. I, I, it's just not true. Um... You're, you're you're literally grasping at straws but I, I mean not straws as you're grasping at the air like there's nothing you're just making shit up that he went through wouldn't you think because a lot of these folks ladies and gentlemen they don't believe in god actually i um i'm a christian i was raised christian uh and i am still a practicing christian i have multiple bibles in my home thank you you go ahead and ask these uh, people who are transgender, these people who like to dress up and drag, these people who like to say, hey, I'm not male or female. I'm not an alien. I'm not a cat. I don't know what I am. I mean, I'm not trans, and technically what I do is drag, and uh, I know exactly what I am. I'm a gender. That's, that is my gender identity. It's not that I'm not an alien, not a cat, don't know why. I know what I am. It's, it's very clearly stated. A very clearly outlined. It was very clearly outlined that I am a gender. Very, 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 very clearly outlined. Those folks, they don't believe in God. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe that when you don't have a strong foundation in spirituality, in morality, and even a belief in God, you will do stuff like this. A lot of this comes from self-hate. You don't like what you are. And these folks, to me, when they start changing themselves, they end up hating themselves a lot more. Uh, that's not true. Uh, a majority of people who... Uh, who are trans? I'm not trans. Just to put that out there, because he has stated that prior in the in the in the thing. Um, uh, most people who expect who who are trans once they transition actually love. Uh, you know, a lot of their mental health problems do get better. They clear up. Some people actually fully get better. They don't experience any mental health problems anymore once they transition. Um. I, I don't know what you're talking about or where you're getting your information from because there's no scientific information to back what you're saying. You're clearly just making shit up, uh, which is fine. You know, you can do that. This is America where we believe here in, you know, good old America that you can just make things up at will. And that's fine. You know, go ahead. Um, but I mean, as far as people hating themselves, you're, you're, you're the person who's rallied a bunch around a bunch 
a bunch of uh, white people who don't really care for black people. So I'm just saying, maybe out of the two of us, you maybe don't like yourself. I'm just saying that as an LGBT person who is surrounded by constant love and lifting myself up and people lifting me up and people being kind and courteous to me all the time and I get recognized in public and people stop me for pictures and they, you know, everyone is always excited to see me. Um, you are uh, probably not. You're probably surrounded by hate. It kind of seems that way. You're a very angry person, which is fine. Go right ahead. But don't project that onto me because that's not, that's not the case. Okay, Karen. And that's what uh, contributes to the suicide rates here in America. So let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> Insane, huh? Uh, so the next person that we're going to be reacting to is once again another black guy. Um, I can't find anybody else. Like, don't nobody, nobody be like, oh, you're specific. Like, I, I wasn't like specifically targeting black male YouTubers. Um, that just seems to be the only people who are reacting to me. Um, which is fine, like, I don't care, but, like, this wasn't intentional, but these are the only reaction videos I've been able to find. If you happen to see some, please feel free to send them to me, and I will definitely react to them. I love reacting to videos, um, but, you know, if you guys happen to come across somebody reacting to my documentary, please send it to me so I can make a reaction video. But so far, these two guys are the only people who I've seen make reaction videos, so that's why I'm reacting to them. Anyway, this next guy, his name is Brilliant Grim. He is a black male YouTuber. Um, he does, he kind of seems like all he does is like commentary reaction videos. Uh, and he's got these like fang teeth in. So at times it's a little bit hard to understand him um, because they kind of give you a lisp. Understandable. I used to have a pair uh, that I'd perform in and that's why I ended up taking them out is because articulation is pretty hard. So let's dive right into this. Welcome back to our brand No video. You, you guys already know who it is. It's me, Graham. And I'm here with another one. So, basically, Matt, gonna, me and you today, we're going to be watching a video titled My Husband is an Ace. My Husband is an Asexual Drag Queen. That's trim enough. Bro, I don't know what an Asexual is. Um, you know, let's do a quick Google search. What's an Asexual? Asexual. A few inches later. You know, this is too hard for me to Google. I'm just gonna watch the video and hopefully I find out all the information I need. So let's watch it. When I started doing drag on my wife. Pause that shit, bro! How are you gonna start the video just like that when a man's dick just in my face? Bro, did you see how close my face was to the video? Bro, no home, I could have sucked the man's dick, bro. Pause that shit. You should actually have like a view description is a vibe in the beginning. So imagine not this close to the man's face. When a dick pops out, bro. I'm gonna suck dick, bro. I feel was uh, who dead. Dead ass. That was actually a complaint of mine when I actually uh first saw the video, is that like the very first shot you see is actually my pelvis. Uh I think that's a little bit of choice on editing. Um, but, uh, you know, I agree with you. I think that one's a little bit of, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a choice when it came to the editing. Uh, I didn't do the editing, so, I, I had no control over that, but anyway, back into it. I wasn't the most excited for it, but she's usually really supportive of it now. When I did a lot more of FI drag, which is female impersonation, um, I would get confused all the time for being a woman, but that was intentional. So wait, no, no, no. So wait a little bit. So you basically, you wanted to be, you wanted people to think that you are a female. My question so far is, are you gay? Uh, well, no, um, but yeah, I, I, that was the intention. That's the intention of FI drag. Female impersonation is to make people 
assume on some level that you look like a woman. Um, some people don't go for that. Uh, I didn't always go for that, but there were times where I did, so. Mm. Oh, wow. Wait. Yo, bro. Pause real quick. Um, I think that something's happened to me, Grims, because I looked at this person on the screen as you guys can see, and I was just about to say, oh, wow, this is a nice, pretty girl. Like, is this your wife? And then, like, upon, like, further thinking, I'm like, yo, that's the man. You know, he kind of makes a pretty girl, but like, that's the man right there, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I mean, that's the intention is that I, I don't know why they put like such a harsh filter on that photo because that's not what it looked like on Instagram. Um, but yeah, no, that was the intention is to be a pretty girl. Thank you. Macy joined me again. I've been here this long. So I guess you could say that my current illusion that I do mostly is a man impersonating a woman who is impersonating a man. Man, you have definitely heard it all. The man just says he's a man impersonating. Okay, he's a man impersonating a woman impersonating a man. How is that even possible? I don't know. Okay, so let me break that down for you real quick. Um, I am ABAB. That means I'm assigned male at birth, uh, and I am a uh, what some people would like to call a hyper king, um, which would be a male-born drag king. A drag king is a woman who is impersonating a man. So what I do is I'm impersonating these women who impersonate men. So I'm a man impersonating a woman, impersonating a man. An idea. Yeah, as you do. <laughs> a concept. Right here. So we first started dating um, in our freshman year of college. I didn't know, but like, I'm a dog whisperer. The dog basically saying, yo, Grimms, like, help me, please, because, like, like, for all we know, this man probably makes, like, okay, the dog, she probably tells the dog, you know what, you're gonna be a dog, but people are gonna think you're a human, but you're gonna pretend like you're a dog. You know what I, you know what I mean? That's probably what he's trying to do to a dog. That's what a dog's trying to give me messages, like, yo, help me. No, my dog's a dog. So I first started getting interested in makeup when I was about 20 years old no, um, and I really didn't start doing it look seriously until I was about 21. Look what is my Marceline? Uh, so Jay came to me one day and- You guys never mind, I make sure I what the dog was trying to do. The dog said, hey Grim, I'm good, leave me alone. Because when a dog's tail waggles, that means they're good. Like I have a puppy too. Man, when he sees me, Uncle Grim, or me, Daddy Grim, he man's like, and that means he's happy to see me. So the dog's happy to see the man. So the dog was good, the dog was good. I love this. I love him. Um, I think this is funny. Like, <laughs> the dog's tail waggles. Yeah, she's a happy dog. She's always around. She's always around the corner. So that's the thing. She's actually like right around the corner right now. I put her back down and she's just like staring at me. She's like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? She does this every time I come in here because she's not supposed to be in here. Um, and there's lots of little things out through all of my studio that if she were to eat them might hurt her. She knows she's not supposed to be in here. And Megan always yells at her for coming in here. So she like, I put her down and she runs out the room real quick. She only comes into the room to like, come see me real quick and then she leaves again. Uh, Cause she knows she's not supposed to be in here. I went to this drag show. It was really cool. Um, I think it's something that I want to try out. So I, at first I was a little weirded out. Uh, so I was like, do we need, do we need to discuss something? Do you need to figure out your sexuality? Uh, Bitch, what she's trying to say? And she's like, yo nigga, are you gay or not? Like, do you need to make up your mind? First of all, it's so hot under the studio lights right now. I'm like actually like starting to sweat or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, that's pretty much what she's saying. The thing that is, I think, very different about us is that you are indifferent to sex as a concept. Is that is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. But like um, sex, like if I never had sex again, I don't think I would probably care like a whole whole bunch. He's indifferent. I was disinterested. <laughs> um, in sex as a concept before I entered into a relationship. To me, in my opinion, this activity, it's about the same amount of fun as like playing video games. It looks like a giant version of my- 
You know, man, you're done for the day. Like, I can't do this. Bro, why am I on the earth right now? You're telling me, you're telling Mr. Grimms, Uncle Grimms, that basically the man's comparing having sex with a girl, or if a girl can have basically he's comparing it to playing video games? You're telling me, like, yo, this guy's the type of nigga, bro, that will go to GTA 5. Go to the strip club in GTA 5, bro, and watch the girl dance, bro. Gender? Gender? So, uh, no, I don't go to, I, first of all, I don't, I don't have Grand Theft Auto, um, but, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not the one, I'm not the kind of person, I have played it before, you know, um, but I don't have Grand Theft Auto, uh, I'm not the kind of person who would go to the strip club, uh, in Grand Theft Auto, um, because I would just go to the strip club in reality, because I'm friends with a lot of strippers. In fact, uh, I had a stripper on my channel, my good friend, Haley Dollar. You can watch that video. I don't know how to do annotations, so there might not be one, but, uh, you know, link down below, swipe up, figure it out. It's on my channel. So, I don't really identify as male or female, and I don't identify as something in between. I don't really feel like I fit anywhere on a gender binary at all. Bro, so is that even like scientifically possible for you not to declare a gender? Like I know like in 2018, 2017, whatever, like don't ever assume a gender. We all know that, right? Yes, don't assume a gender. Like for me, don't assume my gender. Okay, I'm a man. But look, like for this man right here, we already know you're a man, first of all, okay? So it'll come down to are you gay or not? So like the question I'll ask him is that yo, do you like girls? Yes, I like girls. Do you like boys? Yes, I like boys. All right, cool. We established that. Cool. Do you like, would you like suck dick or eat pussy? Um, no, I don't like suck dick. Cool. You're gay. As easy as that. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're kind of like oversimplifying something, but no, you, I mean, there is some scientific evidence to support non-binary and non-binary identities and stuff like that. Um, and there's plenty of evidence to support trans identities, but, um, I mean, I, there's, you, <laughs> You're kind of, you're, you're kind of diving into a weird, like, a weird thing. Um, is there, like, conclusive scientific evidence to support that people, uh, can be, uh, without gender? No. Um, but there's no scientific evidence to support that it's not a thing either. Um, there's scientific evidence to support non-binary identities. Um, it's just like there's scientific evidence to support trans identities. Uh, they're supported by psychology, which is a type of science. These identities are supported by psychology, um, and gender uh, gender specialists do support these types of identities, and they do say these are real identities, and they are real and supported by the psychology community. Um, so there is, there are scientists who support it, um, but there's not like conclusive like chemical bio uh, brain chemistry study science to support it. But there's a lot of, there's not really any, like, brain biochemical science to support a lot of these things because uh, what we're finding, like, more and more and more is that there's not really a biochemical difference between male and female brains. So that's kind of a complicated and a loaded question. Um, so basically, science more or less differs to psychology. Um, you know, like, biochemical science really differs more towards psychology when it comes to things like gender and sexuality. Um, because there's really not a chemical, you know, there's, uh, there's not a chemical reason for it, you know. The endocrinologists can't really tell why people are gay or why people are trans or male or female or anything like that. The only thing we really know is that the difference, the only real, like, endocrine difference between men and women is that men have higher testosterone levels and women have higher estrogen levels and progesterone levels. So it's, that's really the only like, you know, like hormonal or chemical difference between men and women. You know, we kind of go about things much, much differently. Like it just feels. I'm not a hundred percent sure what he just said there. I think I said, how do you jump like that? Um, what I do is I jump in the air, throw my legs apart and land on my chain natural and normal to us. We love each other um, completely and yeah. totally and absolutely. Yeah, like both platonically and non-platonically. Yeah.
I, yeah, I can't, I can't imagine uh, not being with him. Good for you, you know, like that's what true love is. Like, if she's not getting no dick and she's still happy, that, that's true love. I can't hang on that. But anyways, I always mess up. If anyways, I am not done with this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you go down below, you like, you comment, you subscribe, you do all that good shit. Because me, Mr. Grimms, I'm out. Peace. You don't know. Well, that one was much more pleasant than watching the previous one. Um, you know, he was much nicer. I can I can appreciate that. I think he was kind of funny. Um, his video has a staggering 28 views, but uh, you know, I think it. I think he was fun. I think he was funny. Um, and uh, yeah, he was nice. I don't have as many things to say about him because he was nice. Uh, whereas the other guy was kind of like a total douche nozzle, like just being a dickhead. Alright you guys, that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, you know, head on over to Twitter and, and tweet me. Follow me on Twitter. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. I don't, I don't know what that was. Sorry. I was feeling some Shane Dawson, like some 2012 Shane Dawson vibes. Alright. Deuces. Bye.